Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Nerder Things, and today we're going to talk about Anthem, and talk about our impressions on it, and I'll just try to be short and sweet, and I, I would say that first off, you know, I can remember, I'm older than most of you, so I can remember in the 80s when electronic arts was the end all be all to gaming. And I can remember playing on my Commodore 64 and and thinking that these are just the best games ever. And, and you couldn't tell me when I was a kid that Electronics Arts wasn't the second best company in the world behind Atari. So fast forward, and this is what we get. In a nutshell, this game is unfinished. Right? Uh, you can see the footage on, on here. Uh, we played the game since, well, we would have called this closed beta, right? That's what we would have called this closed beta back in the day. But really, they call it, whatever they call it, VIP, open access, whatever, it's beta. All right? And if you really want to look at it, this game is so unfinished that it's still in beta. All right? So, man, I really had such a high potential. High, high, uh, I don't know how to say it. I don't have a script. I, I had high hopes for this game. This is probably the most anticipated game probably since Marvel uh, Marvel Powers United VR on the Oculus Rift. It's probably my most anticipated game. Uh, the game does things right. The combat feels right. But this game is not finished. Right? So when we, when we played this in the VIP beta, uh, there was one dungeon. And I, not I noticed that we just weren't playing it that much right we just kept playing playing over the same dungeon over and over again and we kind of fell off and got bored with it after you know the 15th 20th run All right so you can see it there was an ea executive talking about you know or he was questioned about how many dungeons there would be in the end game and he said three and that's when i got nervous before, I'm thinking it's VIP beta, it's just a demo, no big deal. But we already ran the one dungeon and got bored of that. Turns out that there's only, only two more dungeons. One of those dungeons is a recycle of what they did before. And then they have one new dungeon. And you're expected to do that over and over and over again. I, I don't know what to say. I really don't. It just seems to me like this game is, is way too early. And, you know, I believe the advertisements. The advertisements said that you could explore the world with your friends and make new adventures. And that's great. But in reality, if you go, you know, if you, it feels like if you go 200 feet away from your friends, then you get instantly teleported. So I know they've patched in a lot of stuff. You know, there used to be problems. I'm not going to talk about the bugs. Some of the things I found annoying was getting hit through, uh, getting uh, invisible damage or getting one-shotted through a wall. Uh, the mobs being frozen in their animation was annoying. And then also, we were there the first weekend where it was the infinite load time, where you'd sit there waiting for 20 minutes to load. So that got better, but this game is just not ready. Electronic Arts has, n I looked it up, they have 9,300 employees. You gotta wonder about the business practices that would launch a game and spend whatever, how much money they spend on this. I don't know, $100 million? But nobody stopped to see if the game was fun. And what, you know, I say fun, I say fun as far as doing new things and new content. I understand that they, this is a looter shooter. And they want this to be like Diablo 3 where you get more efficient at what you're doing. But somehow Diablo 3 pulls it off. You know, they really should not have advertised that that this was an open world game. Right? I mean, I, I'm sorry. I've played MMOs since EverQuest 1 back in 99. Right? That's, I played MMOs mostly. 
And I the email only goes off when I'm streaming or recording, right? It only goes off then. Nobody emails me except for when I'm recording and streaming. Anyway, I played EverQuest One and I played MMOs and I can play remember playing EverQuest One forty, fifty hours a week. And this is not that sort of game where you're gonna be able to drop to me it seems like you're you're gonna get you won't be able to play more than four or five hours a week. And that that's not what I was looking for, and I, I don't think that's what a lot of us were looking for. I, I don't know. I'm really dis, just disappointed. The family, can t they can tell I'm disappointed. They look at me and they can tell I'm sad. Maybe I'm taking this a little bit too far. It's only a game, right? But I was just that geeked for this game. And it has not done it. And so let's just say maybe I'm being too negative. Maybe I am. I tried to give it a chance, but let's say I'm being too negative. Let's say that you play this game, I don't know. 30 minutes a day, but at the end of 45 days, what do you have to look forward to? Huh? They've already said the roadmap, the roadmap has, doesn't look like it has much content in it. There's like one stronghold in the, ne in the next act, and they've only committed to three acts for the, all of 2019. So you might have six strongholds based on what they've released to us, six strongholds by the end of the year. I'm sorry, I, I can, you know, I played World of Warcraft a long time and I can remember having 10 different dungeons at launch and then new content every three months. New dungeons and th things like that every three months. Where is it? So, I want this game to work, but look, we cannot be encouraging these publishers to launch unshipped game, un sorry, unfinished games. We can't do that. We can't. The game is too expensive. It's sixty dollars for you, but for me, since I've got four mem four family members who are going to play together, it would have been two hundred and forty dollars. They wanted fifteen dollars to play it early. If you wanted to play this early and uncapped, it would have been another fifteen dollars. Uh, for God's sake, they've charged you sixty dollars for the game. And then they've got cosmetic items in there running eight fifty eight dollars and fifty cents, and then supposedly there was more data where it was up to twenty dollars, and I just can't see it. Right? Like I said, I played MMOs and for a while, and usually when they're selling cosmetic items, that's to that's for free to play games where they're not charging a fee. This game is charging you a fee, and they're charging for you for cosmetic items. So. I don't know what to say when I was kind of just doing my background on, on this to make sure I was not out of left base. I saw that Electronic Arts has been voted the worst company, the worst company in America two years in a row. And that's with corporate scandals and things of that nature, right? Corporate scandals and Enron and all that, and they managed to beat out those companies, right? So... Electronic Arts, I don't understand how you can mess up a game where everybody gets an Iron Man suit. The combat, I love the combat, I love flying around, but just from, from playing it during the demo weekends, it's like, I'm bored from that. What do I have to look forward to? Y'all, if y'all launch five strongholds, then it will be a start, so... I'm not saying don't buy it now. I'm just saying, sorry, I'm not saying don't buy it. Don't buy it now. Wait. Wait. I know there's a lot of EA, EA game changers and stuff like that and people that are pretty much shilling the product. We're pretty proud of the fact that the channel's grown to the point that we got our first review copy of a game. But in, in, you know, in the email they sent us, they talked about how great we are and everything else. It's called being co-opted, is what it is. It's a corporate strategy that's called co-opting people. It's where you get them to agree. You get somebody to agree with you and to be an ally and they're, and manipulate them. That's what they do. I won't be manipulated. I, I don't know how some of these YouTubers do it. Watch. If they don't come up with content in 60 days and, and they can't turn those reviews around... 
this game will be dead. They won't support it, right? Look at the reviews right now. Normally, I don't pay attention to reviews, but when you look at the even the different gaming outlets, you can see it's got two out of five stars, three out of five stars, and I think it was probably IGN that described it the best. That, well, they described it like this, Anthem like this, is that when you play the game, you fly, and if you're not paying attention, you overheat and you crash. You, so you, you're you soaring in the air, you're like, this is the best thing ever, I'm Iron Man, and then you crash, right? That's what the game is like. That you soar, you have its high points, and then you crash, and you realize that this game is not very good, and it's kind of mediocre and unfinished. I'll, I will leave it at that. I don't normally do these sorts of videos, you, you guys know... I don't normally do these sorts of videos, but here we are. I guess I'm that upset over the whole thing. Tough life, right? Anyway, thanks for joining us here. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. And we are only going to be playing games that we find fun. I thought that, I thought that this would be one of them. You know, we don't necessarily pay, play the most popular games. Sometimes you might play a game that's 10 years old, but I want my kids to be able to look back at their childhood and say that my dad took me through some of the most fun games, not the most popular. So this, I thought this would be the one time where we would be playing a popular game and, you know, of course, have a higher viewership, but that doesn't matter. We're going to play what we find fun and maybe, I almost, I almost said Destiny. Maybe Destiny can pull us off. Maybe Anthem can pull us off eventually, but you have to. we have to vote with our wallets as gamers and tell them we want finished games and get past the day when we let these companies, you know, do 50, 60, 70 gig patches because the game wasn't finished. I can remember a time when the game was shipped to you finished because there was no online, right? Like with the PlayStation, they had to ship it to you finished. Nowadays... They don't even finish a game if the game doesn't sell enough. And there's always that risk with this game. Right? They said that they projected they were going to sell 6 million copies in the first week. I don't think they will with all the negative press that's come out. So it's probably best to just sit back and see if they follow up on their promises. It really is. See if they sit back and follow up on their promises. Their prom what they promise you in the future in the roadmap, if you look at it, it's not a lot of content. Right? It's not a lot of content. You would think with 9,300 employees that Electronic Arts would have some sort of department, just like any other department that tests the games to see if they're fun, and have, have a department where somebody can step back and say, is this fun or not? The game is not, it's not fun. It's fun in certain spots. But like the one reporter said, you soar and then you crash. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for joining us.